Mijn naam is Lucinda Evans en ik is de directeur van Pelisa Albafazi bij toe. En ons programma um, kijkt naar de welzijn van vrouwen en kinderen. We hebben een full program, everybody is here today. So we've got the older persons coming in, we've got the women empowerment group coming in, we have the younger children and the older children coming in. Oh wow, great. So you must prepare yourself for a crazy day today. But uh, if you're ready, I'm ready. If you're ready. I'm Georgina de la Cruz, I'm 66 years old. <laughs> I'm Joyce Linda, I'm Lucy Davis, Cynthia de Jong, Francis, no surname. I'm Rashida Heidi. I'm Margaret the Foss. Hi, I'm Janet the Nome. I'm Janet. And is it much different from your country? Oh, it's right. actually not yeah. as different it's as not I thought it was different. Be. Some Americans think that we're all living in a jungle here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Lions walking in a row. <laughs> um, I was born in California, but you know, somewhat raised in Texas. And so whenever I go back to visit my family, they're just like, "Oh, like, are you riding horses to school and stuff like that?" Yeah. So I get where people are like, "Okay, yeah, there's some like stick with Texas yeah. places that aren't real." What I thought was so similar is kind of the race struggle we had, and y'all just went yeah. through apartheid. So mm. many of y'all, right, lived through apartheid and. Was anybody, was it their first time voting when Nelson, Nelson Mandela became president? Yeah. Yeah. We are a country in healing. Um, I think we, we all, when 1994 came, we, we thought that, yes, we are free and everything was going to be okay. And, and that was quite a big expectation that all of us had. But 23 years later, we are still recovering from the atrocities of apartheid. So like how do you Sorry. all deal with like the issues of like gun violence and crime going on? Sometimes our parents are also to be blamed. Mm. Because then it's my child that's running around with a gun outside. Mm. You can't make a living you bit, but we as parents must also play our part. Mm. I'm talking of experience because my child also belongs to a gang. Mm. I'm the coward. Uh, I'd rather stay. Indoor, sit oh. at the back of the kitchen watching the birds. Because I, I used to sit in the my bedroom, because it's in the main room. But then I see things that upset me. There's nothing that I can do. I hear uh, just, I just hear shots. I can't handle it. I'm but weak. So I just sit at the back, and I'm satisfied. I don't hear anything. Oh. I don't see anything. You must be so scared to who you talk to or what. They won't hesitate to kill you if you, they know you want to mm -hmm. talk. So mm -hmm. you just may have to learn to look at it. Never the you. It's the worst place to be. But mm -hmm. here where we are, we are close comfort in this love mm -hmm. to our people. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. ain't like that. But there are some ups and downs, mm. but we must try to overcome it. Mm. Yeah. There is a problem in every country now. Mm. Yes, mm. every country. Mm. All the countries. Mm. Mm. Did you grow up? Yes, yes, I was born in the house there when we lived in the 60s. Everybody was all evicted out of their places and found themselves wherever, you know. And I mean, this is now how much? 47 years. So, yeah. So we're staying here 47 years in Lavendale. So I was born in District 6 in Cape Town and in 1975 we were evicted. Mm. So my grandparents were evicted and I was two and a half years old and we came to live in Lavendale. Well, we didn't have a choice. My grandfather, which I lived with, had a severe stroke and the family had to make a decision who would take care of him. So, because I was the eldest grandchild, I was the girl. The adults had to work. I then had to quit my studies and I had to take care of my grandfather. How many of you had to leave school at an early age to go and assist home and the family and the structure? 
that you gave up your dreams in actual fact. South Africans, they friendly. <laughs> 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 bubbling over with friendliness. <laughs> but I'm glad that you're having a nice time. So mm -hmm. enjoy your stay in South Africa. Mm -hmm. How long will you stay? We're here for another two weeks. And you came by plane. Oh, my plane, yes. <laughs> it was the yes. hardest flight. Yes. I'm interested. Has anybody like been on a plane or been anywhere yes, else? No. No. Really? Hi. I've had the privilege to visit your country twice. And the, the first thing that I've learned was that how women are safe in your country and they are able to move after hours. I, I know this crime also in your country, but how they were able to freely commute, public transport, so forth. Sorry, my friend, let it late, man. It's <laughs> only arrived now. <laughs> so there was it's not a taxi to come and fish me. As long as you're here. As long as you're here. Come, come on, Frega. What's your deep? Keep the army. You. I'm an army. Sit down. You must now introduce yourself. My name is Johanna. I'm staying here in Lebanon. Where they shoot, 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 shoot everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sure everybody knows me now. I'm Auntie Jamie. Be grateful you came down. There was no rainstorm following you. <laughs> no snow. We have no snow here. So I don't know what you do with that side. But I don't think there's, there's snow that side. Uh -uh. Well, we don't get snow in East. Yeah. Yeah. from you. So you just ride or what? I can't ride. I didn't bring my cowboy hat either. Oh wow! Justice, hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're like my grandson. You actually look a lot like my aunt. I'm not even kidding. You guys ready to go outside? Yes. Get some fresh air. Get that puppy. Are you guys ready for this next? All of you must sit like this. <laughs> and you must do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I come from a country where we have um, a diverse population. I and in the areas where I were as a as a visitor, so I visited as in the deep south one of the states, and I, I felt the, the the racism. We have the same people with the same um, mentality here uh, but we also have white South Africans that are that are warm people and good people and we have white Americans also that are lovely people to be with and warm and caring and so I didn't think that I would actually experience it in America I, I didn't and for me that was that was both shocking but it was a it was a it was a good it was a good shock mm -hmm. to also see that what I thought is only in my own country is is also in the US. No that was like straight into the action. We got paired up with the seniors and got to hang out with them and meet them. Uh, before we get the children later on. It's really cool. Hopefully they'll come back. I'm at one that looks like my Aunt Jackie. Go say hi to her. He's an eye catcher. <laughs> last thing when I look at you I just I just see the tando. He's got his eyebrows. Oh wow, thank you. <laughs> and the I hair, appreciate and that. The hair. Everything just is a yellow bone. Just smile, you know, that's that's, ah, that's my grandson. <laughs> that's funny. 
because I swear I was looking at you the same way like that's my aunt Jackie <laughs> and like I was just on the phone with her uh -huh. yesterday oh, it was just like I missed her so much and so yeah. like seeing you was like so warm oh, to my heart you. because like I'm glad I do miss came. her <laughs> yeah better late than never for sure I'm so no, glad I was busy baking making some fit food for the club that's on Jackie that's just like on Jackie <laughs> well thank you so much for coming yeah. I do appreciate it because Thanks. when you walked in and I saw you you were that <laughs> and just hearing you speak you are the light in the room and you're like like yeah, you just like her <laughs> no, it's so nice. So, yeah. we need to sort out the wall. I want to know that I'm not going to fight with anyone about your tackies, about your porcelain, mm. about your crockery, mm. even about your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the truth. I've seen people, children was never there for you. Mm. And I'm not saying in your case, children becomes aggressive. Children, families break up when you're not sure. there because they're fighting over things that you belong to you mm. and you didn't make provision in terms of where those things should go. Mm. Yeah? Okay. Okay. She's on her way out. Bye, Auntie Jane. So nice to see you. Bye. It was so nice meeting you. You must come down. You must come down to yeah. my level. Yeah. That's a nice, a big one. <laughs> Bye. I will see you all. It was so nice meeting you. Now he's got to bend. He's got to bend. <laughs> so now we're headed out to get food. It's the homies. What's good, y'all? <laughs> yeah. There we go. I'll see y'all soon. All right. See you in an hour. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> so we're going to eat and tour the safe house, and we'll be back. Okay. I'm out. <laughs> Safe house, oh. but now the hungry. Oh. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What up? What up? Hey. What? For the video? No. No, not for the video. No video. Boom. What up, homie? How you doing? I'm fine. You been working on your rap skills? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I like your hair. Hey, your hair is so beautiful. You're welcome. Cheers. Say so. Yeah, that's what we Oh, you're cute. Are you going to put those on the news? On the news? Yes. I'll put you on YouTube. Because <gasps> <laughs> I knew. Uh, oh, I've seen you before. How y'all doing? I'm doing cool. You're doing cool? You doing cool? Hey, oh yeah! I'm sorry. Slow motion. Slow, make you slow motion? Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 hey. The organization was born in my in my dining room and in my garage. And it's a space for women and children where we do women empowerment and, and child protection. And Belisa means healing and Abafazi is women. And Betu means our and it's a, for me in Lavendil, I've lived by this philosophy that I'm bringing lavender back to the hills. We can't grow lavender here because there's so many buildings. There's no open spaces. But the little bit that I can do for a woman, a child and a family is the little lavender that I want to bring back to the hills. All right, just finished up. A interview with Lucinda. They're probably waiting on me. So good. See y'all, see y'all, see y'all. Yeah. 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 Bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. Bye y'all. Bye. 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 I'm sorry y'all. Okay. Of course. Bye, Lucinda. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My name is Lucinda Evans and I'm the director of Police Abafazi B2 Women and Children's Program.